I'll say two quick things about yeah. Hellfire first. Yeah. One of my favorite, two favorite ayat in the Quran. One of them is, "Ma yafalullahu bi adabikum." What's God getting? What's God going to get out of punishing you anyway? What a beautiful thing for Allah to say. That's what Allah, the Creator, is Allah saying. Allah said that. No, Allah, Allah, what's He going to do punishing you? So it's not. Why do you think he, he wants to punish you? He's not there to punish you. He terror. People have a. This sister came to me one time and she said, "Why does God talk so much about hell in the Quran? Is fire, burning skin, oil, this, that? Why? I'm so terrified of it. That's my problem with Iman, with Islam, because it's so much talk about hellfire. I was like, would you rather hear about it, get scared, and get your act together, or be in it? Isn't it a mercy that he told me about it before I have to see it? True, true, yes. He t- he scared me out of my mind of that place, and then he told me I didn't create you to punish you. <laughs> and I'm letting you know, look, this is a horrible place. Don't go to it. It's like he opened two doors, and he showed me what's on behind both doors. And then he says, look, you have a choice to take whichever door you want. Now you're blaming him for showing you both doors. If he only showed you Jannah. And you say, it sounds nice, but I'll take my chances, <laughs> right? And, you, where you, and he never told you about hell. He never told you. But you, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Whether you like it or not doesn't change reality. You could say, I, I don't like traffic. I hate it. That doesn't change the fact that it's still there. You're still stuck in it, buddy, right? Whether you know about hellfire or not doesn't change the fact that it's there. It's coming. It's Allah's favor that He told us that it's there. And in another place He says, إِلَّا مَنْ رَحِمَ رَبُّكْ وَلِذَٰلِكَ خَلَقُ My second favorite ayah about this subject. He says, Accept the one your master shows mercy to, and by the way, that is why He created them, in order to show them mercy. Allah says in this ayah, the purpose for which He created us, on His end. On our end, the purpose of our creation, to worship Him. On His end, the purpose He created us, so He could show us mercy. SubhanAllah. What a beautiful, beautiful perspective on Allah. The first introduction we have to Allah in the Qur'an is that He's extremely merciful. People think of Islam, they start thinking of hellfire. First thing we should think is Allah wants excuses to show us mercy. Now, how easy did Allah make, our, our Lord make us to earn paradise? How many opportunities? Uh, before you get into that, you mentioned mercy. How many times, because it just popped in my head, and not to take you off from the main question, mm-hmm. but you have a lot of opponents of Islam, they say exactly what you say, that you know, Allah is a vengeful God, He mm-hmm. just, you know, He's not loving. You know, how many times is love actually mentioned in the Quran? Love is mentioned all over the place in the Quran. Actually, one time a Christian came to me and said, Your God isn't love, our God is love. Show me in the Quran, where is God love? <laughs> I said, Okay, I opened it up. Surah Al Wa Wahu Al Ghafur Al Wadud. Allah says He's extremely forgiving and He's extremely loving. <laughs> he just walked away. I'm like, Where's the love, brother? <laughs>